Hi, my name is Benjamin Beck, and I'm going to be showing you how I use Buzzstream to build links to my client's best assets. So let's get started. Um, going into Buzzstream, um, you pick a client. Um, this example, I'm going to use a fake zombie website. And so first off, you have to decide what asset that you want to build links to. And uh, for this approach, it's going to be for something that it's already been produced and you don't have to do anything else. Like you don't have to create a guest post or write anything up or um, do an interview. Um, this is more for tools, calculators, infographics, things of that nature where the content is already done and you're just trying to get people to link to that resource. So for example, for a zombie website, um, if I was, say, REI, and I had this zombie um, infographic that they did, you know, survival gear, and then also, you know, survival skills, um, I thought it was really funny. And if I wanted to build links to something like this, um, I would go here underneath Buzzstream, and I would go here under link prospecting. And the first thing I would do is I'd set up a blacklist. Um, there's two blacklists that you can set up. You can set it up for the project level. So anything for my fake zombie website, I would put my competitors in here and anything else that I would not want to get um, specific um, domain from. Um, and then you can also have something that's global. So across all sites, if I don't want anything from say TripAdvisor or Zanga or anything else, um, you can drop those in here as well. And then once you have that set up, um, you can create your own um, link, processing pro link prospecting profile. That's a tongue twister. And I already created one here for the zombie infographic. So if I just click on that, um, you give it a name. And then you have some of these advanced search queries. So like this one where it's in URL guest dash, which is common in WordPress uh, URL structures. Um, or in the title it says guest post and then followed by, you know, ambersand survival, zombie survival and tools. Um, this is a tip I got from John Henry on his blog TLC SEO. Um, great blog for scalable link building. Um, he's been helping me with my search operators. Um, another great person to read up on is uh, Garrett French um, from Citation Labs. Him as well has a lot of great tips on crafting these advanced search operators to get the best um, results. And um, big, big tip um, for search operators, test them out in Google before you scale. Um, again, this is just a test I'm doing right here, but I wouldn't do you know all this all at once, especially for something extremely generic like guest post or zombie infographic. You can see I have this really specific, you know, zombie survival, zombie apocalypse, um, all these different things. Um, infographic in the URL, in the title, and zombie, like very specific. Um, make sure you test it before you scale or else you're going to get back a lot of junk and then you just have to filter and throw out a bunch of it. So major tip there is make sure that you test out your your advanced search operators before you scale it with this tool. Um, and then I really like you can pick the country. So if I have a US client or I want to focus on the UK or Australia, um, which are the ones that I primarily focus on, um, I can set it up to prospect just in those areas. Um, you can also select it so it's just by news or blogs. Um, but um, over at Buzzstream, they said that when you use a lot of advanced search operators, um, it's best to use the web because it won't break down as much. And then the um, thing I really like about this is once you craft these really good search operators, it will go out, Buzzstream will go out and retrieve it on a weekly basis. So that way you're not, you know, constantly have to do the same search. It's already doing it for you. And say you only want to come and check this maybe once a month, Buzzstream will keep working on it. And then when you come back, you'll have that many more uh, to filter through. So, and then you can just set a notification to you or somebody on your team. All right. So, uh, when I do that for the infographic, um, the first time I did this, it gave me over 400 <laughs> um, different opportunities, but I like to go through and 
filter some, you know, do some quick filtering first. So the SEO in me, I always put it so the highest page rank goes first. <laughs> and as you can see, there's some of these, you know, like gentlemen and some other ones that might not be a good fit. They're this high page rank and probably not the best fit for me. And um, so what I usually do is I filter out the ones that uh, probably won't be a good fit. They're really high, really high page rank makes it so it's probably not a good fit. So I'm going to do, I'm going to filter it by anything less or anything higher than a five. I'm going to filter by those. Okay, so that gives me 62. And so what I'm going to do with these, um, and the whole point of what we're doing right now is filtering it through. And there's three ways you can filter it in Bustream. You can approve it, which will add it to all the rest of um, your approved links um, that you've reached out to. You can reject it, which means you reject it at this point, or you can blacklist it if you come across a really spammy site that you don't want anything to do with and you don't want to be suggested in the future, you can blacklist it. So I'm just going to reject the ones that are above a PR5 just so that um, they might be a good opportunity, but that's probably for something a lot more personable and more a custom outreach versus this is a, a more templated outreach. Um, so I'll just go ahead and do that. So, oh, I need to do it to all 60, all 62. So select all. My mouse will wake up. Select all and dismiss. And then I also do the same thing with anything that's a page rank one. So it gets away of anything that's a page rank one or um, anything that doesn't have a page rank. But since I've already done this once before <laughs> and the film messed up, the recording, um, they're not here to show you, but I also do that as well. I take away everything that's um, below a page rank one because it's probably just not worth us reaching out to. So. And then once I have that done, um, I have this really good sweet spot of, you know, page rank two to page rank four, basically. And these are just really good opportunities. And then the next thing I would do is I would actually go through each um, one of these and I would do something like the buzz bar here that Buzzstream offers where you can actually open it up and see if they're a good fit or not. So graphs.net, I'm familiar with this one, that it's great for you know, infographics, but probably not for this zombie one. So I could deny it and go on to the next one. So um, I don't have time to do that right now in, in this um, example. So I'm just gonna cheat here and go for the ones that have zombie in it. So Zombie Research Society, okay, they'd probably be interested. Zombie Survival Wiki, perfect. All right, there's all of those. That was the only one with zombie in it. Ooh. Okay, now before I approve these, I forgot to do that. So when I get down to the specific um, sweet spot of blogs, what I then do is I assign it a custom field and I'm just gonna call it zombie graphic. So now all the remaining ones have this custom field called zombie, zombie graphic. Um, and to set that up, all you have to do is go into settings, custom fields, and you can add a new custom field. I add this one called prospect tag for custom fields for links and for link partners. I just added to both of those. All right, so now I'm going back. Sorry, I gotta jump back in here. Okay, so let me just find a couple of these real quick. So in case of survival, that sounds like a good one. Zombie survival crew, perfect. Survival punk. Um, again, I would usually go through all of these. Survival spot. Good. Zombiehunters.org, perfect. Zombie Research Society, um, and I think that's good. So 
Again, I usually go through all of these and filter them more, but I'm just going to go in and approve them. All right, so those six have been approved. Perfect. Now I'm going to clear this out. And so now I'm here with all the 33 approved link partners for this zombie client. But if I only want to find the ones that have been approved specifically for the infographic, I would filter it, not by the metric, but by the specific custom field that we created. And again, I'm doing this so that I gave it, I gave it a custom field because a custom field, I'm using it more for a very specific type of outreach, in this case, a zombie infographic. Um, I use tags in Buzzstream for categories, you know, like finance, um, cooking, health, fitness, things like that that are very broad. Um, but when I have very specific types of outreach, I use the custom fields. All right. And so now I have these 12 that have been approved for this zombie infographic. And then my next step is to do outreach to them. And as you can see right here, um, Buzzstream does a great job of going out and finding the different outreach. So I'm actually finding out that, hey, James is over here at Survival Punk and is pulling in their email, Facebook, everything else. So it makes the outreach that much easier. So um, just to make sure I get a good example, I'm just going to reach out to this one because it says it already has an email there. So usually I'd select all of the emails and then try to reach out to all of them. But again, this is just an example. So I'll just pick the one. So I select a template. Again, I've already written a quick and ugly template here. Um, so it pulls in the domain. Um, it usually can pull in their first name if it's available. This is all set up in the template. Um, I'll show you really quick what that looks like. So again, you come up with your subject line. Um, the body of it, and then you can actually pull in these different parts, um, these different parts to make the template a lot more personable. On um, this one, I link to the infographic, and I also link to a couple other places that are um, covering it. Oh, survival spot! I think that was the ones I just approved. <laughs> um, so this is how you set up a template. I'm just going to save that. And so the first name's not here, but I did pull in the domain name. And again, this is a really bad, really quick um, uh, template I came up with. Um, I can see right here it has his email. And from the email, I see that his name is Josh. So I can just go ahead and personalize it. Say, hi, Josh. All right. And then what I really like about Buzzstream as well is it allows you to send it later. So I can send it. So if they're in the UK or uh, in Australia, I can set it at a time that's better for them. Um, it has a higher response rate. And then also down here, as you can see, it, it sends a BCC to your inbox. So that way I can boomerang it or do other ways to follow up with this person in the future. And so it's just a great way to streamline the outreach, um, doing it all in Buzzstream, um, because especially it pulls in the profile information. You can check out their blog right here to see what they've been talking about and how frequently they are. And then also history. When you work in a big agency and you have so many people doing outreach, um, it's very possible that somebody else has already talked to this person and might have a connection with them that you can work off of. Um, so I really like doing the outreach in Buzzstream and it's set up really well for it. So that is my walkthrough of how I use Buzzstream to build links to my client's best resources um, and the streamline process. Um, I really like using Buzzstream because it does a lot of the heavy lifting of finding those websites and it'll automatically do that for me every week. It pulls in their contact information so I'm not going through all these pages trying to find it. And then it also streamlines the outreach so that I'm able to quickly make a personal website 
add in my own personal comments, and then uh, send it off and follow up. Um, so I really like Buzzstream for that. If you haven't tried Buzzstream yet, I highly recommend it. Um, the product itself um, is great, but also the team behind it and their customer service is amazing. Um, I really enjoy working with them. Um, if you click on any of the links in the blog or if you go to getbuzzstream.com and become a paying member after you like the service, um, I will get a small commission, but I totally stand behind this product and I wouldn't put all this time and effort into creating um, this video if I didn't enjoy and thoroughly um, use um, this product. So I hope you find this helpful and uh, you can spend more time creating great things instead of trying to promote it. And I look forward